The question often comes up, how can a parent forget about a child in a car? And there's been some interesting research that's been done by a neuroscientist out of the University of South Florida that probably answers some of that. Um, now, any, any time, of course, there's a child fatality, there's going to be an investigation, but uh, this, this provides some light on it. It has to do with his research in memory. And uh, according to, to the Dr. Uh, Diamond, uh, we have what's called a habit memory that really is, is um, uh, based on things that you routinely do. You know, whatever you do, that, that you just do pretty much the same thing every day, that becomes part of your habit memory. For instance, driving to work, driving home from work, um, these can become part of your habit memory and you don't really have to think about it a lot. Um, the other type of memory is called perspective memory and that would be things like uh, today I need to stop and get groceries on the way home or uh, today I need to take Junior to the daycare center or pick him up. Uh, so those kinds of things are what we call perspective memory. And then according to Dr. Diamond, in times of stress especially, the perspective memory can get pushed out. So it could be stress before the drive, during the drive, it could be something like sleep deprivation, uh, but these things can cause the perspective memory and thus, you know, sometimes tragically, uh, something to do with the child in the, in the car, out. And so uh, they revert back to the, the habit memory. And then he said also that uh, what's interesting is that he found that the brain can actually create a false memory that, that they did the task that they were supposed to do. So if they were supposed to have taken the child to daycare, say, um, but because of stress or whatever, that memory gets pushed out. During the day, they may think back on it, but think that they actually did take the child to daycare and may not even discover the mistake until they drive back to the daycare after work.